Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing. And today I'm excited to present our Corkers Soul Shootout and Buyer's Guide. So if you haven't ordered Corkers, they're one of the top manufacturers of wading boots. And what sets them apart is the ability to remove the sole and switch it out for something that will work better in any given situation. The problem is they've got nine different soles and which one are you gonna choose? In this review, we're gonna be walking you through each of these nine soles, as well as comparing and A-B testing one sole versus another. And for this test, we're gonna be using Corker's top of the line K5 bomber boot. And this is the most comfortable wading boot I've ever worn, and definitely a boot that you're gonna to wanna to check out if you're in the market for a new pair. Now, let's get out on the water and check out some of these soles. First up, we're comparing felt and studded felt. I think everybody who's ever waded in fly fishing has heard of felt. It's pretty much the standard sole for many, many years, and it's frankly what everybody grew up on, what everybody's used to. After testing it today, it really actually still works pretty well. You know, the one downside to felt, obviously, is that some states have banned it. It's not the most environmentally friendly option. So we don't necessarily recommend it, but if you want a sure foothold, felt is definitely a great option. Up next is studded felt. Studded felt is simply the same felt that you get with the felt sole, but with some carbide tip studs. And what those do is they cut through any algae on rocks and give you a little bit of extra grip. Overall, between felt and studded felt, I like studded felt. It gives you a little bit of extra grip and I didn't feel any downside. We've heard some people talk about carbide bouncing off rocks. I didn't feel any of that. So for a little extra grip in an extremely, extremely slippery environment, stud felt definitely better than felt. The only downside to studded felt over felt is that if you're in a drift boat, these studs are gonna scratch it up and make a lot of noise. Moving on is probably the closest thing to felt, which is what Corkers calls svelte. And what this is, is a synthetic felt. And basically, it's just an environmentally friendly version of felt. It dries way, way faster, and so you're not gonna have any problems with spreading rocks knot or anything else from stream to stream. Going around in the river, I can tell you there's pretty much no difference between svelte and felt. The one thing that Corkers has told us is that this synthetic felt really won't last as long as felt, but from a fishing standpoint, if you want something that gives you that same traditional felt feel, but is environmentally friendly and won't contribute to any rock snot problems, this is gonna be your only option. Overall, a great sole. Up next, we're comparing Klingon versus felt. And now one of these soles comes with every single corker's boot. So a really important test. And we're, what we're trying to do is find out which application the felt is gonna beat out the Klingon. So I didn't have to test that one too long. The felt feels like I'm locked in carbonite on the rocks. The Klingon, I'm sliding all over the place. Totally different feel. Do not use the Klingon in slippery conditions. Up next, we're gonna do the slip around test, which is Vibram versus Klingon, no studs. I hope I don't fall. So after slip sliding around, the Vibram soles definitely had a little bit of an edge. I think the pattern on them makes them just a little bit better underwater. But realistically, if you're gonna be wading and you wanna have any sort of a sure grip, you gotta have some sort of a stud. So Klingon didn't do too well. Now we're gonna try studded Klingon and see if that is any better. So studs actually made a huge difference in the Klingon soles. They went from totally useless underwater to actually pretty good, but still a little bit more slip than I felt with the felt. Another sole that Corkers does is this Vibram Idro Grip sole. And so we're gonna do an apples to apples. Klingon 
versus Idra Grip, studded for both to see which one performs better underwater. Both of these soles offer tremendous, tremendous advantages in terms of grip underwater. Between the two of them, you've got some trade-offs. The Klingon still works well, but if you land in between a stud, you're gonna get that same slippery feel that you get with the standard Klingon sole until you're able to grip on one of those carbide studs. With the Vibram, you've got the same issue, but they just, these big treads just hold a lot better underwater. And the other thing I found is because they're protruding so much from the sole, it seems to be easier to grip and catch one of these studs and sink it into the rocks. So plus one for the Vibram sole over the Klingon in the studded version. But as you'll see a little bit later, we still think there's a better option yet if you're looking for a non-felt studded sole. Now we're getting down to the true test of stickiness, aluminum bars and studded rubber. And we're gonna compare these both to felt to make sure you have a nice benchmark for how these two perform. Now, aluminum bars have gained a lot of popularity in recent years, particularly from Patagonia, who's been putting them on all of their top of the line boots. But also Sims has been mimicking this with big aluminum studs that are trying to achieve the same purpose. So I had really high expectations for these aluminum bars. I've been fishing the Patagonias for a long time and have aluminum studs on all my Sims boots, but I actually don't think they performed quite as well as the felt did. The aluminum bars did not have performance that was as good as felt underwater. I just felt that I was slipping a little bit and didn't have the same kind of iron vice-like lock onto the bottom that I got when I was wearing a felt sole. So overall, while these aluminum bars look cool and there's certainly an option out there for you, I wouldn't necessarily recommend them in the Corkers lineup. Last but not least is one of my favorite sole options, which is the studded rubber. The studded rubber is simply a plain rubber sole with these giant carbide tip studs in them. I couldn't tell you what it is exactly about these studs that make them so awesome, but they really grip the river so, so well. The downside, however, is that these are not great soles to be hiking in. You know, they're gonna be bouncing off of rocks. They're very, very loud. I would not get these within 100 yards of a drift boat, let alone wear them there. They are, in fact, in our opinion, the best option underwater. So as we wrap this up, the big question is, which soles should you choose? And in my opinion, if you've got one sole for use in any purpose, any time, Svelte is gonna be your best option. It's environmentally friendly and not restricted by any bands on felt, yet gives you that same traction performance. If you're gonna be carrying two soles around, I'd recommend Svelte, which gives you all of those same benefits, plus the studded rubber. And the studded rubber is gonna give you that massive, massive performance boost underwater, and it's gonna give you studs when it's very mossy and on round, very slippery rocks where the felt is kinda of slippery. If you're looking for three soles, so you can really use them in any condition possible, it definitely gets a little bit more tricky. If you want a hiking option, I'd recommend the Vibram soles. And if you want a second underwater option, that studded felt in places where felt is allowed is gonna be another great option for you. Another big advantage to the corker system is that when your studs wear out, it only takes a split second to remove that sole and give yourself an entirely new set of studs. All of the Corker's soles, as well as the entire lineup of Corker's boots, are available with free shipping from TridentFlyFishing.com. If you have questions about any Corker's boot or any one of these soles, don't hesitate to give us a call at 888-413-5211 or email us 24-7 at support at TridentFlyFishing.com. And don't forget, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up or leave a comment in the box below. I'm Ben. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.